It's always a marathon when Fred Medill takes on younger brother Bobby at basketball in their Beverly Hills backyard. 182. With big brother Fred on the short end, we might mention. Basketball's not my forte. But that's okay because Fred Medill has more lofty aspirations. What are you good at, Fred? Interviewing. You're looking at a 14-year-old going on 44. No clip-ons for you, Fred. No, not anymore. Whose 54-year-old father moves ever closer to 14. Looks like the usual crowd. By that he means your basic barnyard of Hollywood livestock. Beautiful people hounded by paparazzi, herded by handlers with cell phones, and everyone here, ostensibly, for a premiere. Some don't even know what the movie is. And in the midst of it all, at his assigned spot along the feeding trough, we find Fred TV. So tell me about your character in the film. What happened here? Yeah, it's a crazy story. <laughs> Got a couple hours. <laughs> it all began with a bar mitzvah? I am going to be the biggest thing Hollywood has ever seen. What we did was we put together a little concept video for my bar mitzvah. We got George Foreman, Larry Holmes, Neil Sadaka. What have you learned here? Just ask, because you never know what's going to come about. Even if they say no, it doesn't hurt. Just ask. Well, he got hooked. It made me feel special. So, with his high-powered lawyer of a father doubling as booking agent and cameraman, and with a website for his outlet, this five-foot, four-inch kid who doesn't even shave yet has gained admission to Hollywood. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Cameron Diaz. She digs me. I have poise. Yes. I have a good appearance. Yes, you do. I have a way with women. Yes, really. You can show me that later. <laughs> Fred has no illusions about his role here. He knows Hollywood sees him as a novelty. When you were on location with Nicole, did you take your kids with? But in his mind, he's a working internet journalist. Name another adolescent who's had a one-on-one -on -one with the president. I asked him, do you think the new generation of American youth is more apathetic to the political fervor that existed in your time, like your generation? And he said... On this night, however, the big kahuna would be Kevin Costner. If the screening's at 7, he'll show it about probably 6.45, maybe 6.40. Like a veteran, Fred predicted the arrival almost to the second. Then we watched the choreography as Costner slowly paraded past the photographers and well beyond Fred. No, I think he's just taking pictures. I think he comes back. Meantime, the movie's promotion people offered up other attractions. Are we conscious of the difficulties in capturing the Kennedy's inflection? Hollywood is a culture of favors, you see. Play the game, please the power brokers, they may whisper a word. Voila! Hey, how are you, Kevin? Fred Medill, Fred TV. From what TV? Fred TV, the okay. best TV around. All right. And with that, Fred Medill scored another skin. The rest of the press could only look on as the man-child went deep. When you make a movie like this, is Oscar on your mind? Not on your mind, but when it's being talked about, that's really a genuinely a nice feeling. He got his, uh, he got his man. Did you just see that? Well, why did you talk to Fred? You know, Fred was respectful and he asked good questions. And he was dressed nice. Good luck, Freddie. As if Freddie needs it, some fathers and sons play baseball. Others go fishing. Well, we are fishing tonight for a few good celebs. <laughs> Nothing like a bonding experience, Hollywood style. That girl was hot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you hot ones there. Just don't tell your mother. In Los Angeles, Wayne Friedman, ABC7 News.